just had a message passed on from the from the police, but um, just to let people know, uh, I don't think you can take your signs in to Parliament. Um, apparently, they say the same about T-shirts with signs. I can't see why free expression of the people of New South Wales, representing the majority of the people of New South Wales, why are they why they could be possibly so scared of a no coal seam gas T-shirt or badge to go in. So I think there no, should be no problem. In fact, why don't you go and get yourself a shirt if you haven't got one? Isabel over there, they're only, I think, 10 bucks. Uh, so make sure you've got one for the occasion. Get yourself a badge. The uh, lock the gate signs, just to say that we want everyone to take one of those for free today. You might be able to take it on your way in, but on your way out, um, you can take one of those for free today. Um, but also, yeah, so we will have to be, well, we might have our voice a little bit lower um, when we go in there, but there's no reason we can't do a little bit of a chant uh, as we approach um, the, uh, the parliament entry. So I think the one that has echoed across the state very well, that's very well pointed out who is profiting from this in, uh, industry and that the people really are against it is coal seam gas, we will stop it. Our community is not for profit. Coal seam gas. We will stop it. Our community. We will stop it. Coal seam gas. We will stop it. Our community. We will stop it. Our community. It's all completely confirmed. But the uh, the farmers. I'm not sure if anyone's mentioned this, but it's worth reiterating for everyone to look out for May one market diary May one because the farmers have been so outraged by the latest actions of the New South Wales government but they said they're going to converge down here from across New South Wales to oppose coal seam gas Woo! on May 1. They're going to bring in some trucks and tractors and point out that our food is at stake. Uh, so I think we want to join. We want to say we will be standing with the farmers um, linking arms on May 1. I believe from from uh, Labor and two from Liberal. That's what I saw. Disgusting spin mongering. When the member for Balmain, the Greens, Jamie Parker, rose to speak, the House denied him the right to speak, and the, uh, the government was in uproar. I think we should get the member for Balmain to come out here uh, and address us and give us the words. No doubt the words that would have been a thousand times more powerful and a thousand times 
more rational than anything we heard in there today. So if anyone can get on to Jamie Parker, uh, get him out here. But we saw a shameful lack of democracy in there and a real confirmation that this government is in the pockets of the mining industry. Absolutely crystal clear in there. And uh, it's pretty clear that they're not going to stop this industry and it's very important that us out here, that there's a shameful lack of democracy in there from the most petty things, from the not re refusing shirts, refusing signs, refusing badges, refusing murmurings. Um, but there is no democracy in there. We have to bring the democracy out here. Yeah. We have to lock our gates. We have to lock our communities. Uh, we have to lock our farms, we have to lock our vineyards to coal seam gas mining because no matter what laws they pass in there, yeah. they have to implement the laws on the ground and the people, are we going to let them implement their laws? No! Are we going to let them build their coal seam gas drills? No! Are we going to stop this industry? Yeah. Are we going to build the biggest people's movement we can all across this state? Yeah. All across this country. Yes. All right, and I think we do. We do have to acknowledge that we have some friends in there, and certainly Jamie Parker is one of them. And so, if anyone uh, is able to get on to him uh, and see if he can come out, but dear I me, mean, I, I don't know if anyone else who was in there wants to say a few words. But that was a real lesson in this shameful sham, sham of a democracy. Um, and what was also telling is you can tell that they don't, they're not used to having the public looking at them. They're not used to having people watching what they're doing and having the daring to have an opinion and daring to take them up. Uh, and they're like a, a bunch of school kids, yes. but what they're playing yes. with is our children's future, our, our environment. If they stuff paid. this up, there's no going backwards. Let's get you out. I'd just like to say something about the um, cultural aspect down there at the uh, Illawarra too as well. On top of the escarpment, there is such significant Aboriginal sites, carvings in the rocks, there is uh, tool making sites, there is all different types of um, Aboriginal uh, significant sites up there. All right, And um, that there is, I can't go up there and sit down and contemplate my navel, if you know what I mean. Right, that is traditional, my custodial area. My mother's mother's people used to walk from up there, from the Warragaba Dam, down the uh, Picton Road, all the way down to Sandon Point. Right, and they've left carvings in the rocks, they've left um, hand stencils on the rocks, they've left um, tool making sites. And I can't go up there and sit down and contemplate my navel. Right? And they've also, uh, we're all in the same boat here. It's gone around full circle. Right? So it's gone around full circle from the day when they used to poison the water on us. Now they're poisoning the water on the whole of us. And we all got to stand up united, no matter what race, colour, creed, sex, sexual preference, or social status. Jamie Parker's coming outside, so Jamie made a request to speak and was denied by the Coalition. We had two speakers in favour of our petition, that was John Robertson and Ryan Park, and we had two speakers against, that was Gareth Ward and Lee Evans. Three of those MPs are actually from the Illawarra, where there is an incredibly strong campaign. And believe me, when two of them come out and say they support us, but they won't support our petition, we will be giving them hell this week because they deserve it. They are, they are our elected representatives who completely fail to represent their community. In Lee Evans constituency, 3,000 people marched in May last year, 3,000 people marched in October last year, and he got up today. He, we actually got him to sign the petition, which he then retracted in front of the media. At the end of the day, these people take their party and they take the industry before they take the communities across New South Wales. Hey. Hey. Jamie Parker! <laughs> I just want to invite Jamie Parker
who revoltingly was denied the opportunity to speak in Parliament uh, because I think we all have the right to hear what he has to say. Well, this is a democracy of the street, isn't it? Yeah. Where you can say what you like without fear or without, without favour. Now, just to explain what happened in that situation, hello. Just to explain, it's like a family reunion here, isn't it? <laughs> just to explain what happened in that situation is that when a petition is discussed, there's speakers in favour and there's speakers against, and then you can seek leave from the Speaker of the House to make further contributions. And it's uh, traditional, and it always happens that a further contribution is made, and other members get to speak. And being the only member of the Greens in the lower house, of course, it's a right that we deserve as, as uh, those people that speak up for people in the community on these matters. But it was denied today. And why was it denied? It was denied because the government wants the absolute minimum amount of scrutiny, the minimum amount of uh, investigation by the community, and the minimum amount of public discussion. But your involvement, your involvement will continue to keep this as a high profile issue in the community. Because what my point was going to be in that house is that Labor are just as complicit as the coalition in this. That it was Labor who issued these licenses across 30% of New South Wales, gave, gave free gifts in terms of royalties and royalty free periods. And now, after being demolished in the state election, all of a sudden, they're supporting us. They've seen the light. But the reason why they've seen the light is because they knew the pressure that was on them from people like you and people like me in the community. And now the coalition is trying to hide behind the strategic land use plans. We all know that they are a fake and they don't outlaw, which they should do, they don't provide the type of protection against CSG. So both the coalition and the Labor Party have dirty hands in this matter. But the reason why we have these strategic land use plans is because of our actions, because of your rallies, because of the protests, because of the letter writing. That's the reason why even that small measure has been introduced. And during this period when those draft strategic land plans are being reviewed, that's another opportunity for us to get involved, to raise our voices, to continue to campaign for the right kind of outcome for our water, the right kind of outcome for our agricultural land, and the right kind of outcome for our local communities. So I wanted to conclude by saying thank you very much for taking the time to come along. It's you that made this petition such a success. It's you that got them so angry they didn't want to hear any more voices, but they can't avoid the voices of the community on this issue. And that's where I give you my absolute support. We Greens introduced the bill, the coal seam gas moratorium bill in the upper house, as you know. We managed to get Labor to vote for it, but we weren't, funnily enough, able to get the Christians or the shooters to back it. But we'll continue to build momentum because it was only a year or two ago that Labor didn't even support this. So the campaign is building and the momentum is rising. So more power to you, continue the campaign and onward to success. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Some very dangerous words, obviously, that those in the House were too afraid to hear and it's, uh, it's quite telling when our words, the words of the people and the words of sanity really, the words of, of basic science of precaution are so dangerous that they have to be shut down, they have to be shut down in the gallery, t-shirts have to be turned around and, and uh, progressive politicians have to be prevented from speaking. Well, this has been quite an amazing hour. I think it's only about an hour or so after we started. It feels like a freaking lifetime. Uh, a fracking lifetime. Um, but we've had... Uh, we weren't allowed to drink water in there. Our toxic water. Now, if you haven't, if you haven't got it yet, you've got to get yourself a, um, a bottle of uh, toxic uh, CSG water. Comes with, you know, special fracking fluids. Um, I, I want to thank everyone, every single person who is here today. I think it was a little, a little bit of a historic day. I think um, we need a lot of these sort of historic days in the campaign. It was a very different protest to have the people's protest out the front. Hunter Valley represented Oakdale and the southwest Sydney, which is really under threat now. The Illawarra's vibrant campaign to take it into Parliament and then uh, to get thrown out of Parliament in the end, for those who weren't in there, um, once they did uh, say, you know, basically within a few minutes, oh, the debate's over, 
Jamie Parker doesn't get to speak. Well, the, part, the, the public gallery got very public. Um, it turned into quite a, um, a rowdy uh, public gallery, and it was quite a um, it was quite it's quite cathartic, I got to say, uh, telling the entire um, coalition that they're in the pockets of the mining industry. But um, we really need everyone to redouble your efforts. Make sure you get all the material, but put yourself down. If you're in Sydney, no, 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 put yourselves on the list. But also start to to take that step forward to organise more. There's no reason, there's nothing about, you know, there's nothing that stops anyone here from being the person who speaks at the next rally, from being the person who speaks at their community group, in their school, in their university, in their workplace. It takes it to the unions. I might say that um, I got a call from the Teachers Federation from Jenny Diamond. I don't know if she was here today, hopefully, but... Um, she sent it out to the teachers um, today. Uh, so that was fantastic. So we, we're starting to get union support and there's no reason why a whole host of other unions shouldn't come on board. And if you're in a union, make sure you bring the campaign up to the union. Some of the media's just come along. Uh, so maybe we should have a little chant about what just happened in there and what was, what was clearly lacking, which was coal seam gas. We will stop it, our community. Not for profit. Coal seam gas. We will stop it, our community. Not for profit. Coal seam gas. We will stop it, our community. Not for profit. Coal seam gas. We will stop it, our community. Not for profit. So the campaign is going to continue. We have the majority on our side. We have 74% of the population who, despite all the coal seam gas mining spin, the industry adds the millions that they poured into it are saying, we don't want coal seam gas mining. We want a moratorium. We want to ban fracking. We want a royal commission. But we need to grow the campaign. Please get involved. Um, take away signs, petitions, stickers, uh, and get ready for May 1. May 1 is going to be huge. Uh, May 1, the farmers, the city folk, the wineries, uh, everyone concerned about the future, about um, our waterways and our land, uh, will be here on May 1 and we will shake this place and there will be nowhere for them to hide come May 1, nowhere for them to scurry off to. They scurry off. Um, they are not our representatives, they are not democracy, they are not fulfilling the needs of the people, they are not fulfilling what the people have demanded. The democracy has to be taken from them. We have to claim back our democracy, we have to claim back our power and to say that the future, the only future that we have, the only future that we have is a future that is not left in their hands, is a future that is taken into their hands of the community, of the farmers, of all the people who care about the planet and care about our future. That's, that's the kind of future that we can have and I think everyone here is going to be part of creating that future. Thank you very much.